To the member of the board and panelists, Sir, Ma, good morning. I am Mr. Oliver C. Agnes. Currently, I am connected at Maharlika Integrated School. Master Teacher 1 and the Mathematics Teacher for Grade 8. Presenting to you is my research study entitled Assessment of Teachers' Professional Profile in Competence in the blended learning modality of selected schools in the city of Taguig. Basis for Faculty Development Program. Blended learning posited several challenges in the education sector in the country, which tested the teachers' patience, ability, and most especially their competence in the instructional delivery. The study aimed to assess the teacher's professional and competence in the blended learning modality of selected school in the city of Taguig. In order to achieve the objective of the study, the researcher used a modified adapted questionnaire and using a descriptive quantitative design of research. This study was anchored on Medley's theory of teacher competence year 1977, containing five components, namely pre-instruction, presentation, learning environment, student learning, and professionalism. And for the statement of the problem, the study aimed to assess the teacher's competences in the blended learning among selected school in the city of Taguig. Inputs of the study serve as basis in crafting a faculty development program. On the next slide presented on the first column is the statement of the problem. Corresponding on the second column, the findings. The first is OP. What is that professional profile of the respondent in terms of position, length of service, highest educational attainment, and related trainings attended? The findings, in terms of position, majority or 111 out of 139 teacher respondents are teacher 1, while only one is master teacher 2. In terms of length of service, Majority or 43 out of 139 teacher respondents and have been teaching for 1 to 5 years, while there is only 9 who have been in the service for 21 to 25 years. In terms of highest educational attainment, majority or 115 had only finished bachelor's degree, while there is only 1 EDD graduate. In terms of related trainings attended, majority or 56 had attended trainings related to computer or online platforms, while there is only two who had attended trainings on integrity and another two who had attended trainings related to result focus. The second SOP, what is the teacher's assessment on their competences in the blended learning in terms of pre-instruction, presentation, learning environment, student learning, and professionalism. The findings, in terms of pre-instruction, the average weighted mean is 4.37. This means that respondents are highly competent in the blended learning in terms of pre-instruction. In terms of presentation, the average weighted mean is 4.36. The respondents are highly competent in the blended learning in terms of presentation. In terms of learning environment, the average weighted mean is 4.43. This means that the respondents are highly competent also 
in the blended learning in terms of learning environment. In terms of student learning, the average weighted mean is 4.35. This means that the respondent are also highly competent in the blended learning in terms of student learning. And in terms of professionalism, the average weighted mean is 4.52. This means that the respondent are highly competent in the blended learning in terms of professionalism. Number three, SOP. Is there a significant relationship between the teacher's competences in the blended learning when grouped according to teacher's professional profile? The findings, when grouped according to the position, presentation is significantly related to teacher's position, while pre-instruction, learning environment, student learning, and professionalism are not significantly related to teacher's position. When grouped according to the length of service, presentation and professionalism are significantly related to teacher's length of service, while pre-instruction, learning environment, and student learning are not significantly related to teacher's length of service. When grouped according to highest educational attainment, all of the components such as pre-instruction, presentation, learning environments, student learning, and professionalism are not significantly related to teacher's highest educational attainment. And when grouped according to related trainings attended, learning environment, student learning, and professionalism are significantly related to teachers' related trainings attended, while pre-instruction and presentation are not significantly related to teachers' related training attended. And for number four statement of the problem, Based on the findings of the study, what faculty development program can be proposed? The researcher proposed faculty development program. The program title, B-L-E-N-D, blend, improve teacher's professional profile, calm teacher's competence in the blended learning modality. This proposed faculty development program has been put forward to help administrators address significant findings in the study and ensure an excellent institutional performance by producing top-notchers and high-caliber teachers who will excel in national career examination like licensure examinations, civil service, in other professional exams and by improving student performance and faculty retention rates and by achieving an effective transformational leadership behavior. The researcher proposed faculty development program. The program title, B-L-E-N-D, blend, improve teacher's professional profile Calm teacher's competence in the blended learning modality. This proposed faculty development program has been put forward to help administrators address significant findings in the study and ensure an excellent institutional performance by producing top-notchers and high-caliber teachers who will excel in national career examination like licensure examinations, civil service, and other professional exams, and by improving student performance and faculty retention rates, and by achieving an effective transformational leadership behavior. On the next slide, what you can see is the table of the proposed faculty development program. On the first column is the area of concern, which is the five teacher competence, the five components. 
followed on the next table are the objectives on its concern, then the strategies or the activities to be done, then what modality to be used, including to the modality are the learning action cell, face-to-face, -face, synchronous, asynchronous. Followed to the next table is the person involved, then the time frame, and the budget as well. On the last column is the, the, the expected outcomes. Based from the findings of the study, the researcher had arrived at the following conclusions. First, the teacher respondents' profile reveals that most of them have just been in the service for less than 10 years and that very few of them earned high position or rank. Second, the teachers found internet connectivity a necessity nowadays since they need it for a faster and more convenient delivery of instruction. Number three, the teacher respondents assessments of their competences in the blended learning are mostly highly competent, especially on indicators that pertain to their instructional delivery in the blended learning. Number four, they found that in most of the skills in the blended learning, they are highly competent and that they demonstrated high level of competences in the different skill of blended learning. Number five, the teachers' respondents had a high level of competences in pre-instruction, presentation, learning environment, student learning, and professionalism since they have been doing these competences even before the pandemic. And number six, teacher internet connectivity are significantly associated to their competencies in the blended learning since these are one of the basic requirements in order to become effective teachers in the blended learning. Researcher recommended the following. First, teachers of the subject schools need to continuously develop professionally and are encouraged to aim for higher positions and equip themselves with the knowledge on the different components of blended learning where their competencies are measured for them to become prepared to face and overcome challenges, achieve effectiveness, and champion excellence all the time. Number two, teachers are encouraged to have a continuous stable internet connection for a better and uninterrupted delivery of instruction. And for number three, the schools specifically where the study was conducted need to pay double attention to teachers' qualifications to ensure that the hired teachers are competent and can become an asset of the school. Number four, teachers need to give equal attention to online learners and modular learners because these students have similar aspiration towards achieving academic success. Number five, teachers are encouraged to acquire additional skills in order to deal with the demands of the online learners efficiently and effectively. Number six, the faculty development program prepared by the researcher may be tried and adopted by the Division of Taguig City and Pateros and the Department of Education in general to see its workability and effectiveness. And the last one, this study can be replicated and the future researchers may embark on a more comprehensive study utilizing more schools and respondents to negate or affirm the findings of the current study. And that's all my presentation. Thank you very much.